Morning guys, we're on our way out. It's now 11 o'clock. Uh, we're actually out this morning to do our laundry, but the two laundromats that were recommended to us were closed down. Mm -hmm. So we don't recommend those two laundromats. <laughs> um, so we actually decided to come home and then just wash by hand. But that sounded like too much of a chore. So we are off to find the third, third. laundromat. So third time lucky, I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure this one is open. We've made it to the laundromat. Third time lucky. Yes. And it wasn't that far, it was only 600 meters from our place. So now we just have to figure out how to use this thing. The laundry is in. Now we wait for 34 minutes and then we need to put it in the dryer. We are on our way to a self-guided tour. I actually found a found an app yesterday called Guide Go that actually has audio tours um, around different cities and so we're gonna try it out. What's up guys, we've just made it to our first stop, uh, it's called the Tree of Life. Uh, Tams is going to give us a little bit of information on it. So the Tree of Life is actually to commemorate all the Jews that were killed during World War II by the Nazis. And there is 30,000 leaves on this weeping willow that they've designed. And each leaf has a name of a family that it's being dedicated to. At the base of the tree, it's actually got a red piece of granite to show the weeping sadness of all the families that were lost. As you can see, the audio tour is actually really good because uh, we can give you guys a lot more information. What do you guys think? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop number two, the mural of Sisi. The reason why it was painted by the Hungarians is because she was one of the very few queens that actually cared about her people. And so yeah, that's why they painted it. Looks really cool. Our next stop, which is a statue of Gabor Sattol. He was actually a pastor that helped around 2,000 children and adults that he saved them during one of the wars and later he gave the orphans a home, faith and dignity. So freaking windy. traditional dough wrapped around a wooden pole and then baked. This one's got a sugar coating stuffed with two ice creams, topped with cream, chocolate sauce and sprinkles and a twirly stick. So I'm gonna dig it. It's sweet, it's very sweet. Very sweet. Oh my goodness, we just made it out. It was, to be honest, the first few bites, like Tam says, was not too bad. 
But man, I think after the fourth bite, it just felt like I was eating sugar. It wasn't really a really good experience, and it's so I can't wait. We need to restart. <laughs> to the Budapest Great Hall Market. So we've made our way in. It's a whole bunch of different food stores, grocery stores, souvenir stores, and a lot and a lot of salami. <laughs> Tams is figuring out how to get salami. We've come to this salami shop because this is the only one that is like packed with old people. We figured old people know where the good stuff is, so we'll give it a try. So after waiting for 10 to 15 minutes, <laughs> I sure hope this is the best salami in Hungary. Well, I'm sure it is because we followed all the old people and to be honest, there was a sweet little old lady right in front of me and she couldn't speak a word of English. She just looked at me and I asked her what to order and she totally shrugged her arms. But she was so sweet. In the end, when she was done ordering, she ordered for me and I was going to order that anyway because four people in front of me ordered the exact same thing. So uh, I want to give it a try. I know it's just uh, spicy salami. Tastes really mm. good. It's really nice. Very nice. I think they had this at the lounge. Mm. Uh, we had quite a bit of it at the lounge actually. I think this is like their but traditional... this tastes better than the one that we had at the lounge. Mm. So I guess it was worth the wait. It was definitely worth the wait. <laughs> so delicious. Spicy. Very spicy. But very nice. What's up guys? We have been back at the apartment for some time. And uh, the reason why we haven't got any more footage after we ate that salami was because it was so damn good. Uh, the camera actually <laughs> actually died. <laughs> uh, we and we forgot to bring the power bank, so we couldn't charge our phones. But I mean, we didn't do much after that. I think Tams will update us on what we did. So what we did after that is we went to go check out that little dairy store that Nick spoke about but we weren't sure if it was the correct one so we decided to give it a skip just in case and then we went to go get groceries on the way home to cook dinner and then we cooked dinner and we worked throughout the night so we're gonna call it for today and ready for tomorrow's day. Pew. And we're on our way. Sam's is not feeling very happy today. She says that <laughs> that I'm very indecisive, which I don't think it's true. Sam, what do you want to tell? Tell. <laughs> I'm, not I'm recording you. <laughs> She's gonna beat me today. <laughs> so if you don't see me on the camera, <laughs> they see that. You know. <laughs> Make it to the video. You know why. <laughs> What's up, guys? We just hey, made it. Fluffing? Who's laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing. What's up, guys? We just made it to the tree of life. The tree of life is actually. What's up, guys? We just made it to the tree of life. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. We have made it back. Or oh, we've been back for a while. <laughs> 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 the problem was that our camera phone died, phone died and, and Tams... And Tams what? 
didn't bring the. <laughs> oh, now you're blaming me. Yeah, I'm just didn't bring. Oh, you're blaming me. Yeah, you're blaming me now. Hey guys. Hey guys. We've made it back. Oh, we made it back. <laughs> we have made it back, but we've been back for a while. <laughs> the reason why we haven't updated you. Do you want to do something like? <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out. Ooh, smooth. 